Heyo duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another OBS tutorial and today we're looking at putting your inputs on screen as you can see right now in OBS. So as I'm pressing buttons on my controller, boom, you can see what I'm pressing. This is for all you speedrunners out there, all you guys that just want to show off how good you are at FPS games and stuff like that. You can put it on, super easy to do, doesn't use too many resources and did I mention it's super easy to do. Let's get into it, put your rock over the stone, let's go. Woo! Right, so unlike my other OBS tutorials where I talk about plugins and things, there's nothing that we actually need to install. This is just a browser source, so it'll work straight out the bag as long as your controller's plugged in. Uh, let's take a little look at the website just here. So it is on the OBS forums just here. I will leave a link down below. This is Mini Padder by Denir Nertan. Hopefully I'm uh, not butchering that name as I normally do with every single name. Uh, but this is basically it just here. All we need to do to get it set up is copy the download link. So if we just click this, it'll go to this website just here. And we're basically just gonna be using this link here. So I'm just gonna copy it. I'm just gonna go back because it's got all the information here on how to do it. So if we open up OBS now, so I'm gonna open up this version of OBS for instance, and I'm just gonna create a new source. So we'll create a new source and we'll go to browser. Uh, we can call it whatever we want. So I'll call it gamepad for instance, press okay. And it'll come up looking like this. We're just going to paste the URL that we just copied in there. And it recommends the width and the height to be um, 1048 by 600, okay? So we're going to put 1048 by 600 and press OK. It's going to look like this and you're going to be like, well, that's not my controller. But if you actually have got your controller plugged in, you start pressing some buttons, you'll see just right here, that is actually showing up on screen. It's picking up all my different inputs and everything like that. But you're like, oh cool, that doesn't look very nice. We just need to crop this out of the way. So the way that we can do that, it'll actually tell us the exact dimensions of how much to crop if we want to, or you can just do it manually by holding down the Alt key and resizing this window. So now we need to actually make sure all this is set up right. And to do that, we just make sure we've got the browser selected and press interact. Or you can right, right click it and press interact as well. And it'll come up here and you'll be able to scroll this section in the middle now. We can use custom skins, we can set up this. It says this could go a little bit buggy. So it says use the enter key and arrows. And you'll see I can scroll up and down here. And this is basically just changing the look of the controller. So depending on if I want X input, D input, it looks a little different. We've also got a yellow color. You can change all this to whatever, depending on what you're, you're using. So we've got this one, uh, which again is a different style input. We've also got, um, where are they? We've got joysticks. And we've also got, where are they? Like mega pads. So it looks like a mega drive etc so it depends on what controller you're using you can set it up to be whatever you want so i'm just going to leave it on the default front for now if we scroll down we can use custom skins if you like uh, and we can also change the the display width so this is how we can crop so we know exactly what size one controller is so if we crop the right by 792 and the bottom by 456 that is going to crop this little section out so i'm going to actually press uh, Control e whilst having that selected and it's going to allow me to go to this crop left right top and bottom so right we're going to do by 792 so 792 and the bottom we're going to do 456 so we'll do 456 and then now this is actually cropped all the way around it as you can see it's perfect looks well aligned so you can see there's different settings actually um, working on here. So you'll see it'll start fading out and um, depending on how long it's been since I pressed the button. So these are all personal preference. So scrolling down whilst interacting with the browser source, we've got the fade out just here. So this is seconds for each fade out level. That, as, as you can see, it kind of goes in three different stages. So it all stays on there and it all starts fading out slowly. So 
what I can actually do is go to time. And if I don't want it to fade out at all and I want it to be on screen all time, I just delete all three of these values just here. And then now this is always going to display on screen and you can see all my different inputs that I'm pressing right now. So the way that the fade out works is this is the time. There's basically three different fade out levels. So you can change the, the time in seconds. So if we, we don't want it to fade out, we do zero. Uh, it says that by default, it um, well, I'm going to do that two and we'll do four. So basically each time it changes this opacity. So we're going to start with, um, we'll go with 0.5 and then we'll do 0.2 and then for the last one we'll do naught and then duration is the transition time of how long you want it to fade out for so now i've set all them up you'll see we started fade out there and then it fades to the next level and then the final level i'll press some buttons and it'll be full like so and that will take two seconds start fading out again and then fading out so it's completely up to you how you want to set that up but that is literally it so i'm going to turn my fade out off for now because i quite like leaving it on all time and now i can put this on any scene i can resize it if i want to depending on what sort of scene that i'm on say if I, i'm on uh, a gaming scene for instance is dummy bear doing some uh, magic i can add the browser source in here add existing and we've got gamepad just there and you'll be able to see it's here again i can hold down the old crop round it put this anywhere I, where i want and as if by magic we've got all our inputs on whatever scene that we want that is pretty much it super easy to do absolutely love love putting stuff like that on, on stream it lets people see especially if you are really good at the game people can see what you're doing like if you're doing specific glitches and stuff this is very popular around speedrunners and and things like that as well so make sure you do enjoy it there are other ways of doing it as well so i'll be covering them in a future video also i have been asked as well if you can do it across from a different PC. So if you've got a two PC setup, can you be plugged into one and you're playing a game on there and then it gets sent over to your streaming PC? And the answer is yes, but I will cover that in a later video. So make sure you are subscribed, all right guys? Put your rock over the stone and I'll see you in the next one. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.